No stupid questions. Why does a website like Reddit have over 400 employees? What do they actually do? Write code. Manage the company. Manage staff. Train staff. Go look for current job openings with them. It may give you a better idea of what it takes to run a dot web business. After your product gets big enough, you need people to manage that product and all aspects of it. Then when you have enough people, you need people to manage people, then you need managers that manage the managers. And after a while a minority of people actually do anything relating to the product and bring any money in. Spend a lot of time laughing and saying hey guys check this weird shit out. Probably is a lot of work to keep the servers working. Reddit is one of the most popular websites in the world. It is now basically like any other business. They need programmers, software engineers, web developers. They need accountants and human resource representatives. PR reps. Business and office managers. Advertising executives. Running a web application takes a lot more than people realize. It's not a website, it's an app. You know how there's the beta sub where people give feedback on the app? Those are read by product managers who then design or redesign features to improve the app. Then you have the developers that actually do the code work. You often have back-end devs as well as front-end. And then maybe a mobile dev. Someone has to handle infrastructure, security, etc. Someone else has to make sure all of this shit is getting done. The more users you have, the more people you need working on things. And that's just the software. It doesn't include the business and operations aspects. Only 400? Explains a lot. I'm honestly surprised it's not more than 400. I can tell about why it would need so many engineers. When a software starts to receive as much traffic as Reddit does, it starts to get more and more complex to do any minor change. And even more so when adding new features. By complexity I mean amount of actual work, and the number of different things to consider. If Reddit is similar to other software organizations, which it must be, its devs would be spending their time doing one or more of the following. Fix bugs in existing codebase. Thinking about how to write new features in a manner it's compatible with the existing codebase, and can also handle a lot of traffic. Actually coding the new features. Rewriting slash bolstering older features and paying off the technical debts incurred so far. Reviewing other people's code. Hiring. Mentoring new people. Stack Overflow slash Reddit slash Deverence slash Hacker News slash Blind. It's only 400 employees? I thought it would be more. Come up with new ways to make the UI worse. They browse Reddit like everyone else. And are they allowed to look at NSFW content at work? Maybe they moderate the moderators. Front end development. Back end development. UI slash U.X. Finances. HR. Management. Linux admins, database admins, janitors, etc. I'm guessing they moderate, design the website and app, write the code, do updates, give maintenance to the servers, ban people that don't deserve it. Duh. Account managers, project managers, brand managers, project coordinators, copywriters, creative directors, art directors, designers, developers, QA specialists, accountants, PR, HR. CEO, CFO, international versions of those positions, managers for all of those positions, temporary contractors for some of those positions and projects, tech support, advertising coordinator. And those are all positions websites slash companies who are a lot smaller than Reddit need. Lamau somebody has to code all this that doesn't just run itself. I worked for a small business software company, we're two developers. Out of 25 people. But it's not like the company could function without the other 23. We could probably get by for a while with less, but not for the long run. Based on my math Reddit has 16 developers smile. The really sad part is that the 25 people create millions in revenue and hundreds of thousands in profit, almost all of it goes to, private, shareholders, some of them left 20 plus years ago, some seeded a few thousand dollars to get things started. By now they all made more money from the company than I'll make in my life. Not complaining, I like the coding only part, but a bonus or stake would be nice smile. Work on the garbage redesign. Not just people who code but people who will make money for the website. Think of all the ad space, people need to manage that, and then client reps for the bigger ad buyers. Then of course Reddit has to advertise themselves too, so people for that. The have engineers, software testers, salespeople, 
marketing people, recruiters, HR, executives, maybe a chef, etc. Band good subreddit alike r slash lego yoda, run in the giant hamster wheel they got in their HQ to keep the servers running, greater than why does a website like reddit have over 400 employees? What do they actually do? Some URL You were so close, get paid for doing nothing, if it's like any other office job, they probably work for the first hour and then shit around on the internet for the rest of the workday, and I dot still remember reddit as a school project. Time flies very fast, they censor people and make sure their preferred posts are on the front page, delete comments they don't like, managing all that propaganda takes a lot of manpower, while reddit seems pretty much done, you bet your ass the software engineers have a backlog of 1000s of issues that users have reported, sales, coding, accountants, managers, executives, HR, public relations, network engineers, etc. I would have guessed way more than that, wait. How do they get paid? How does Reddit make money? Your data don't harvest itself. Some portion of the 400 are technical staff, both software leaning and hardware leaning. For argument's sake, let's say three quarters of the company is this sort of people for 300 staff, so that leaves 100 executives, marketing, internal legal, sales, receptionists, whatever staff. Let's ignore these 100 whatever staff positions for the moment. Let's consider what sort of website Reddit is the third most popular website in the world. This means uptime goals of nearly 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Since humans sleep, many of the 300 technical staff are working nights and swing shifts, let's say 150 work daytime, and the remainder are on off hour operations making 150 stretch into the 16 hour window when the daytime 150 are not working. Now let's just consider the 150 daytime technical staff. Let's say at any given time, 10% of the workforce is off for vacations, illness, child illness, pregnancy, business travel that is unproductive. That leaves you with 135 actively working staff. Let's say that these 135 staff are divided into 5 teams, such as front-end web development, back-end software administration, hardware administration, internet presence admins and new feature development. That leaves 27 actively working staff on any one of these specific areas that are absolutely vital for keeping the number 3 website in the world on the web and functioning correctly, not to mentioning evolving with technical standards changes along with new features to that allow the platform to grow. 27 people for a specific department performing a specific mission critical function that Reddit needs to keep this site working. That's not a lot of people for the number 3 website in the world. Kiss China's ass, censor people on r slash the underscore Donald, I'll bet that Reddit's entire software team is like a dozen people. I've walked into interviews at national retailers whose entire team was three people. It's insane the amount that big companies can justify for HR, marketing etc and then leave the entire platform to just a handful of people. I think that's why tech is still one of the easiest get rich quick areas out there, it only really takes a couple people to make the product itself, a lot. You have top-level leadership, financial staff, marketing staff, PR staff, HR staff, probably a robust IT staff, to include networking, sysops, devops, security, etc. Odds are most of them are there to maintain the site servers, batch it, sell ads. Reddit has engineers, product managers, support agents, regular managers for every team, PR, social media teams, HR. People who manage contracting agents, recruiters, moderators, administrators, executives, event planners, etc. etc. I'm surprised it's only 400 to manage such a massive website like Reddit. Well, well, look. I already told you, I deal with the goddamn customers so the engineers don't have to. I have people skills, I am good at dealing with people. Sensor people. There are executives, lawyers, accountants, server managers, designers. Backend developers, website developers, app developers, iOS and Android, advertising managers, human resource managers, site admins, public relations managers. The list goes on. It's not too surprising that there are so many of them. When it comes to tech companies, majority of employees are involved with marketing and customer support. They used to manage it with like four guys lol, then they got bought out by Condé Nast then started expanding.
someone has to manage that cat database, why can they fox Reddit videos yet, they're so slow and take so long to load here in Europe, worried face, that watch out every move so we won't comment on more than one posts in the span of one minute, watch cat videos, jack off to r slash trashy banners, scrounge for ways to monetize everything they can, make it compelling to sources of revenue and heavily regulated in ways that don't deter any sources of revenue, banning every sub. I am surprised they did not consider this post blockable, I wanna see the value added per person compared to a factory worker, considering a decent upscale hotel less than 100 rooms can have 200 to 350 employees, and at a resort you could be 800, and a cruise ship into the thousands, it's not that much surprisingly, someone has got to censor our ideas, 200 janitors, reddit also don't employ moderators as far as I know. Whenever hate and shit is posted they just blame the users, unclog the tubes, give out gold silver and whatnot. Slash s, they are layers of security to hide the karma system, they do stuff, just take a look at their, hiring page. Some url, these are just the positions that aren't filled, was expecting a bunch of red usernames. ngl i'm a bit disappointed now, read it, stop people from finding out the karma algorithm. Ban my favorite subreddits, cat, someone's gotta manage the ads and make sure no illegal activity is occurring, it has a lot to do with who now owns reddit. Reddit started in San Francisco, if the employees had not revolted it may have been Daily City. That dad genius Swartz rewrote the reddit code and things took off. Sam Newhouse saw the value of reddit and bought it to get into online revenue after his family's newspaper empire made billions. So Reddit has the support of a multi-billion dollar private media company. Unfortunately Sam died before he could see his dream of Reddit come true. Reddit is now in the hands of his brother and his brother's son, CEO, who will be taking over the empire when Donald dies, he's 96 I think now, they sure as shit don't give a shit about Reddit, mess up the mobile web UI, I know they don't work on making their mobile app not be dog shit, I work for a website company. Only about a third of our staff is programmers. Another big chunk is support and development, another big chunk is management and human resources and bits and pieces. A lot of it is payroll and recruitment and the public facing side of the company. There's a whole lot that goes into managing a company of any size, wrong sub bro. r slash stupid questions, gear mom haha, they need hundreds of people to censor and quarantine conservatives, to help censor anything not globalist extreme left, all these dumb little cucks are wrong and brainwashed, the answer is nothing. We were without icons for two days, I don't think that should've been hard to fix. Especially not for 400 people, reading your not dumb questions, making sure the right subreddits are brigaded and given infractions so that there is no wrong think propagating, delete comments, tell you you can't post without flair, tell you you don't have enough karma to post a picture, etc. could be summed up as doing Satan's bidding. All censorship, suck more dick.